What's up, y'all? You know who it is. Your boy, JP, the install guy, hoping to make your install life a little bit easier. Today, we got a 2013 Ford F-150. I'm going to show you how to take both the front and the rear speakers out and install your own. If these are the type of things that you're into, consider subscribing or following, because this is what we do here at the channel. Anything car audio or install related, that is what the channel is about. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing we want to do is take something of a low, flat profile. Uh, if you have a panel removal tool, you can use that. So we want to open up this little door ah, right there, and we're going to relieve one screw. I think that's an eight millimeter. Don't quote me just yet, but you want to take this door out here on the back because that is going to have a screw behind it as well. So I'm going to try to hold it like this, take that same little deal, and I'm going to come back here from the back side. There we go. So we're gonna take that door, those clips are just one that holds right there, two on the sides, and then we release another bolt right there. Also, if you come down, you're going to have one six millimeter, two six millimeters at the bottom. So it looks like we have one, two six mils right there, and then we're gonna have an eight and another eight. Let's go ahead and take those bolts out. So even though they use about two or three different bolt sizes, one thing that I do enjoy is that when we get done with all of that, we just have to lift up on the door. There are no clips involved. Literally lift up and pull out. Now, what we want to do here is come up here, take that first harness out. This right here goes to the bottom. Okay, now with this, it can get a little bit tricky because what we have to do is they do make a plier, if I'm not mistaken, that will squeeze both of those at one at the same time. I don't think I have one of those. So what I usually do is I'll press one side down, kind of hold it and then twist it while it's still being pressed in and then do the other side, but I am gonna need two hands. So one day I'm gonna have a cameraman and we're not gonna have to worry about that. But basically it goes in and presses down like that. So you have to find a way to push those two out and then pull it out. Once we do that, come in, lift up. Uh oh, one more harness. My bad, pull that down. And that is how we take the front door off. Now let's move on to the back. And now with that door panel off, we have a six by eight uh, speaker. Now I do want to change out of my six millimeter and go to my 5.5. Take that speaker out. Have that harness right here. Disconnect that. All right, let's go on to the back. Okay, so the back is not hard. What you have to do first on the left side of it, we want to take our panel removal tool, come at the top, and you just want to pop that little small skinny trim off because it's going to relieve one six millimeter right here. Take this and pull this up as high as you can. Pop that off. So we do want to go ahead and pop all the clips, but we don't actually have to take it off. We can literally just slide this up like that. So when we slide it up, we're going to relieve one more six millimeter bolt right there. Now at the bottom, you still have one more six millimeter bolt right there. On the sides, you're going to have two little doors. They're going to relieve uh, or release, reveal, whatever two more six millimeter bolts. So as you can see, those little small indentions on the side, very, very small. Stick something in there, pull it out. So there is no screw inside the pocket, but you do need to come over here to the door handle, go behind that indention, slide it out. And we're gonna have two 10 millimeter bolts back there in the back. Right, now that that's out, you want to pull it forward. God, that's a lot of dust. And kind of pull it up a little bit. 
And if I'm honest, we don't even have to take that out because just like the front door, the rear door pulls straight up and comes out as well. Now we don't have to worry about disconnecting these uh, lock and handle cables right here because it's all in this one little uh, handle mechanism and that's just gonna hang for a second. But what we do have to do is disconnect the harness. Now this one is a little close to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it off right here. We could have did the same thing on the front, but I just knew on the front door we had a lot more space so we didn't have to worry about it. This has a front clip and a rear clip. Now we can take that harness out. Try to do everything with one hand and record. And we have another six by eight in the rear, only being held in with four, five and a half inch screws. Let's take those out. What's gonna make this speaker install so much more easier is we are utilizing the speaker harness. So this is the 725600 with the Kicker CS 6x8. Uh, we have all these links in the description. And the speaker harness is gonna make this so much easier because we literally just makes it plug and play. You have the white for positive with the bigger terminal for the positive side of the speaker, the black for negative, smaller terminal for the smaller size of the speaker. And literally with one hand, we're just gonna go ahead and plug these in. Just like that. And then we're gonna mount our six by eight back in and we are done with this install. All right, guys, and that's about it for this video. So if you find any type of value in it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. This time, I'd like to give a special shout out to Matt Franklin 80 and Rex Rung, along with 20 other people who decide to support the channel. Whether you get one of those fan subscriptions from jpsaudio.com or the Patreon, or you hit those links in the description and buy your products from any one of those links, all that goes to support the channel, and it is greatly appreciated. Till next time, this is your boy JP signing out. God bless you, and whatever you do, make sure you keep going and keep growing, and have a blessed day. Peace.